the aorta is the largest blood vessel in the human body. It carries blood from the heart to the rest of the body. It is the main blood vessel extending from the chest to the abdomen, where it branches into the iliac arteries which carry blood to the legs. Due to the aging or other changes, a section of aorta may weaken and begin to bulge like a balloon. This bulge is called an aneurysm. When the bulge is located at the abdomen, it is called an abdominal aortic aneurysm. As the abdominal aortic aneurysm continues to grow bigger than two times that of the expected normal size, the walls of aorta become thin and unable to support the force of blood flow. Such aneurysm could burst, causing serious internal bleeding. What causes an aneurysm? Hardening of the arteries, also known as atherosclerosis. High blood pressure. Hereditary defect of arterial wall, such as Marfan syndrome. Trauma. What is the risk factor for developing an aneurysm? Smoking. Age 65 and above, especially male. High blood pressure. Heart disease. Family history of abdominal aortic aneurysm or other aneurysms. Is there any treatment for abdominal aortic aneurysm? The goal in treatment for abdominal aortic aneurysm repair is to prevent the aorta from bursting. There are two types of treatment available. Endovascular aneurysm repair, EVA, and open surgical aneurysm repair. EVA is a newer and minimally invasive procedure. The doctor makes a small cut at the groins to get to the femoral arteries. An endovascular graft which is a fabric tube with metallic stents, is inserted to seal off the aneurysm. The graft makes a new path through which the blood flows. It will remain in the aorta permanently. EVA typically takes one to three hours to complete. As compared to open surgery, the benefits of EVA include lower risk of complications, allows patients unfit for open surgery to be treated, faster recovery with less discomfort and a shorter hospital stay, if required, can be performed under local anesthesia or under sedation. Abdominal aortic aneurysm can be dangerous if it's not diagnosed and treated on time. Early treatment is usually safe and successful. The options of treatment should be discussed with your doctor to determine what is best for you.